Today's video is presented in partnership with Hampson Auctions, one of the UK's leading classic, performance and supercar auction houses. Their next sale takes place on the 24th of November at the magnificent Bowlesworth Castle in Cheshire. Hi everybody, welcome back to Rich Reviews. You join us on our first behind the scenes, behind the video if you like. So this is going to be very ad hoc, it's not going to be very formalised, you're going to see it as it comes, there's not going to be much editing, you're going to see behind the scenes of how we create our content. And today you join us on the Prince of Wales Bridge driving across to Wales and today we're filming the Speciali Coupe, would you believe it, the 458 Speciali Coupe. So we've left pretty early in the morning. My son's doing the filming, he's the videographer, so he's holding the iPhone. We've got one of the new iPhone 16 Pro Maxes that we've bought specifically just to do this behind the scenes footage for you. And this is gonna give you an appreciation of exactly how we film and all how we go about our day when we're filming. It's, uh, it's gonna give you a lot of insight. Uh, you know, a lot of people think a 15 minute video, 15 minutes, camera's on, you know, 20 minutes editing or something and that's it. No way. <laughs> there's a lot of planning beforehand. There's a lot of planning for the actual filming and there's a lot of research that goes on for the cars, etc. And then there's the actual filming, which usually takes three quarters to all of a day, sometimes more than one day. And then there's all the editing that goes on, which is about between six to 12 hours or 15 hours sometimes, even in edit on a single video. That's why our USP is cinematic supercars and sports cars reviews because that's what we do. We create really cinematic, high-end quality, and that takes a lot of doing, a lot of effort, a lot of cost with camera kit, and all the work that goes in post-filming post as well, or the editing, etc. So you're gonna get a vision of all of that, and this is the first one. So let us know what you think about this today, because this is our first one. We need to see you know, if you like this sort of type of content, and if you like this sort of format, if you think we should do more edits, etc. Um, but as I say, the behind the scenes is more like very raw footage and you see it as it comes pretty much. There ain't going to be much editing on this video. So hopefully enjoy it. And so we're just crossing the Prince of Wales Bridge now, going into Wales where we're meeting the owner of the 458 Speciali. Then we'll be doing a recce of the route, first of all, that we'll be driving doing the driving section and then we'll be finding a cinematic area for you so that we can do the initial intro and then the walk around of the car etc to show you the specification of that car so you'll join us probably when we're at the location um, doing, the, doing some of the walk around bits when we're setting the camera kit up Just here at the Courses Manor, we're just setting up for the intro scenes to be able to do the intro of this stunningly beautiful, I've got to stop saying stunningly beautiful, of this beautiful 458 Speciali. We've got the Courses Manor here. You can see behind me here with all the grounds, beautiful area, nice location to do the intro for you. And we've got my son there, Jacob, who's just setting up. He's obviously our videographer and he's setting up there to do the um, filming for the intro scenes. So we're gonna do the intro here 
this lovely location and then we'll move on probably move the car to a different location around here to do the walk around of the car to show you the specification of this 458 speciali get my hand work handing right here <laughs> and then uh, we'll move on to the driving experience so this is a bit of a the jacob cam now i'm the videographer for the channel you can see dad in the background just doing some run-throughs this is the sort of stuff that goes on behind the scenes all the time we had it about here and now we just moved it over here to do the actual walk around of the car and talk a bit about the specification and the speciality itself so we just shot the intro which was there and that's going to be uh, before the actual cinematic introduction that you normally see for the channel and this is going to be the main body of, of uh, talking and then we're going to go go back do a bit of a recce of the roads that we're going to be using for the actual driving review and uh, then we're going to go and shoot that this afternoon so now we've just done a walk around of this beautiful 458 speciality again thank you very much to Yona for providing this car for us to review very very much appreciated this we've got this fantastic location here as well this manor house really sets off the car it's really beautiful here and we've been very very lucky with the weather too as you can see you know there's there's a lot more to this than meets the eye it's not just 15 minutes bit of video 15 minutes filming you know you have to do a lot of setting up you have to find the right locations and then you have to go through and think about what you're going to say this is all it's not we don't script what we say by the way i don't script it i just make some notes because obviously i know these cars quite well and it has to be quite fleet free flowing so you know if you script it too much then it becomes very staccato and it doesn't come across as natural hopefully i come across as natural guys this is just me you know i just talk to you like i am normally on camera but with a, maybe a bit more emphasis on what i say this car is absolutely stunning this blue nart stripe and this rosso corsa exterior is just beautiful specification this is launch spec of course and it's got some additional items on it as well but to know what those items are you're gonna have to watch the long form video I'll give you a quick look on the inside as well you'll see it on the long form video anyway so again watch the long form video for more detail beautiful spec this car absolutely beautiful 3d fabric on the center of the seats black nero alcantara all the way around the interior it's quite heavily optioned as well both of an above standard spec with the gps sat nav inf and infotainment system and lift etc beautiful car we're just now about to get ready to take it out for a drive but we're going to do the thumbnails first of all so we're going to sort of move the car around a bit and see where we can get a best location to do the thumbnail for you and you'll see the thumbnail in a minute you might actually put a quick flick up now of the thumbnail that we've taken and i think it's important to mention as well that the speciali is about what 100 kilos lighter 100 yeah. kilos lighter than the um than the 458 spider which of course you owned yeah the, the 458 spider is around 1550 kilograms and um, this is around 1348 i think and the um, 458 italia is around four, 1430 somewhere like that i'll give you some better stats when we're when we're doing the the um, actual driving review so the, i know that the 458 speciality is 90 kilograms lighter than the 458 italia and that's quite a bit when you talk about weight saving when you know when you see the long form video you see that the 458 speciality interior isn't actually that much stripped out it's very luxurious for a track focused car um you still get all those sounds of course being a 458 speciality of it being a track focused car but you still get you know with that amount that they've lightened the car it's still 90 grams that's a hell of a amount to lighten it when you look how luxurious the interior is so pretty cool pretty cool and i think it's going to be quite interesting to see the actual difference it makes because this is 40 more horsepower as well than the standard 458 and of course the 458 spider is the heaviest version of the 458 you could say and the speciali being the lightest so there's there's quite a big power to weight difference so it's going to be interesting to see how big that performance gap actually is jacob just now creating some b-roll of the car so he's going around the car creating all those additional bits of footage that you see when i'm talking that he overlays over me talking so this takes a lot of time as well it's very very time intensive to get very very high quality b-roll very very close up footage of the car in effect so it shows in detail all the pieces that i'm talking about and again this is good old de Corsi's manor house beautiful place for this location and the owners have been very very kind to let us film here so thank you very much for the courses for letting us film here very 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 much appreciated see there Jacob's using the gimbal to walk around the car to do the footage and he was using the gimbal to film me as well what a gimbal does is to provide you a lot of stability so it stabilizes the footage 
The camera has in-body stabilization anyway to stabilize the footage, but this is another level above. It just provides very, very stable, very, very stable um, film footage. So far, we've been here at this location at De Courses Manor House for around an hour and a half, an hour and three quarters, getting on for two hours. It's surprising how long just this bit, this bit takes, and that's just for the intro and the walk around and this B-roll footage. And then we'll be doing more B-roll footage as we take the car out and drive it, probably stopping at a couple of locations. We've got some thumbnails here, but we might take, we've got some thumbnails here, but we probably will take some more thumbnails later on as well, because we need to be able to design the thumbnail such that we can put the, the text on the thumbnail as well. So we leave space for that. So again, even the thumbnail isn't straightforward. You're getting a real insight into what it takes to create a high-end we hope you believe we create high-end vi uh, video footage for our youtube channel but you're getting an appreciation here of how we create our highly cinematic content it's uh yeah a lot of graft while we're at de Courcy's manor house i'm just going to walk you around some of the gardens while jacob finishes off doing the the additional b-roll footage it's a beautiful place this is this is a great location if you're thinking of having any any event in wales near cardiff and this is a fantastic location to have your event. Look at these gardens. Very, very plush. Of course, a lot of that is because of the rain. You can see there the, uh, the name of the manor house, the Corsi's Manor House. Lovely location. That's Jacob, the artist at work, is just doing some out of focus on the plants to be able to then move in and focus in on the car. I saw the skill of the eye of a videographer. He's actually a qualified filmmaker. So that's the, that's the skill that is Jacob. He does all these fantastic cinematic footage for you. If you watch him when he's walking around with a gimbal, it looks like he's, he's prowling around like a cat as well. Because even though he's using the gimbal, he's trying to keep it as flat as possible and as fluid as possible. And that's how you get that real fluid motion, a real cinematic fluid motion on camera. Pretty cool. While well, Jacob just finishing off the B-roll there, the additional footage for the to support the long form video just going to talk you through a little bit of the aerodynamics of the 458 speciali you've got the front vent section here which provides airflow underneath the car and those open up to provide additional cooling mostly to provide airing air cooling into the front end to cool the radiators because there's no engine in the front of course and then you've got this front section here which is reminiscent of the s-duct on the 408 pista but here it isn't actually an s-duct it doesn't go all the way through it goes through to cool the radiators which are behind there in the front section of the car you also have these fins here on the side which provide airflow down to cool help cool the brakes there's big carbon ceramics love ferrari carbon ceramics and around the back you've got the airflow obviously comes down the side sill sections here which helps push the car down at the back airflow comes across the rear of the car here and then goes into these rear vents these rear vents to provide additional cooling for that incredible 458 naturally aspirated 4.5 litre v8 engine at the back the differences here separate the 458 speciali from the from the normal 458 italia you've got the aero panels at the back so that section there actually comes down to provide additional airflow and also you've got obviously the rear diffuser which is a different configuration to the standard 458 italia and the exhaust systems are different here. So these exhaust systems, you have two separate exhaust systems where of course with the 458 Italia, it has harking back to the F40 where it has a triple exhaust systems here. So it's very different. And I much prefer the 458 Speciali design, if I'm being honest, from the rear, with regards to the rear and with regards to the front. It's probably, well, important for me to say at least um, that this is actually my all time dream car as well. Um, this is my, should we say realistic dream car and of course the fact that this is peak ferrari as well this era of ferrari 2009 to 2016 2017 is uh absolute peak ferrari no stupid wings going on at the back the the stuff ferrari were coming out with that of that era the Mon luca de montezemolo era it's just yeah ab absolute peak i grew up watching videos of these cars especially uh jethro bovingdon's review of the speciali aperta that he did in uh, in the italian hills above the factory that's probably my favorite car video of all time and one that i've watched probably quite a sad amount of times to be honest but yeah, just in the absolute pissing down rain, gunning it in this Speciali Aperta. And this this is my era. I was nine, ten years old when this car came out. This would be my childhood poster cars. You know, you imagine older people, I, I should I could say, have uh, had posters of F40s, F50s. Well, this was my poster car. If I can 
maybe own one of these one day. Houses are cool, having other things, other expensive things are cool, but if I could, if I could have one of these, then... Just setting up the cameras now on the 458 Speciali. Jacob's just setting up the front facing camera there. And then we'll be setting up a camera also on the exhaust. And we've got a GoPro set up inside as well, which you can just about see inside the screen there. And then once we set those up, we have to set, we have to fine tune them and look at uh, the angles that they are to make sure they're set right, etc. And once we've noticed that, we'll, once we've checked that they're set right, then we can actually get and do the driving section of the video. So again, a lot of setup, a lot of configuration. It's not just a case of putting cameras on and going. And these cameras, we don't start them artificially. We don't start them remotely. We have to start them manually and then switch them off manually all the time. So you just have to manage the whole lot. If you try and do it with remote controls, etc., or for your phone, you just, it ain't going to work. You know, you're just never going to be able to start these things. You can't guarantee that the camera's recording and that it isn't. You lose footage that way. So you've just got to be careful. You have to take out all the weak points, all the points where it could fail, all the single points of failure, etc. And you have to make sure that you mitigate any possible chance of losing footage by just manually looking after it yourself and manually controlling it. But doesn't that car look absolutely bloody stunning? 458 Speciali. Awesome. This is the exhaust cam going on. You have to be very careful when you're setting up the exhaust cam. You don't set it up in the heat stream so it doesn't get boiled and overheated by the exhaust fumes but you've got a close enough angle so you get the good sound from the exhaust and of course some video footage as well so you can switch to it as b-roll again there's that 4.5 litre naturally aspirated v8 awesome so it's just turning dusk and we're just finishing off now we've just finished all the driving content we're just going to do some drive-bys now because we've got the sunset coming down so it's a great time to get this great type of lighting amalgamated into the video for our drive-bys and you can see the cars looking absolutely stunning and we're at the top of this peak area in Wales fantastic driving roads here which you'll see on the long form video so I hope you really enjoy the long form video we've been all day creating this content so it gives you an appreciation of how much effort and how much work and how much time is put into creating one single video and yes, this is a special video, a speciality video, if you like. But this is how long it takes. It's just, this is how long it takes. The car's looking absolutely stunning. Jacob just finishing off, taking some additional photographs. And we take two, well, we take multiple thumbnails and we take multiple sections of certain driving, um, and we take multiple video sections as well of the driving content. So as we can choose then which sections we want to use in the video. Just closing out the day now. So it's 9 p.m. and we're up at 7.30 a.m. and on the road. So it just gives you an appreciation of how long a single video takes when you're doing it in a cinematic approach um, with good end-to-end -end quality, with all the B-roll and with all of the rolling footage and all the drive-bys and making sure you drive on good roads, etc., etc., etc. It's a lot of effort. So this is the whole day taken to do one video and it's the cost of driving there, driving back, the fuel for the car that we've been using and food for us, drinks and everything else. Fuel you know? for our so, car as well. Um, and fuel for our car, of course. So it's, it's an extensive piece of work as you can imagine. So some people think 15, 20 minute video, camera's on for 20 minutes and that's it done. Far from it, a whole day's work and then all the planning beforehand and then all the editing afterwards. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you've enjoyed this behind the scenes footage for this speciality video and we'll see you in the next video.